Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul again with Spirit Reptiles. And what I'd like to cover with you today is how to measure your snake. Uh, we'll be using ball pythons and you know, they'll be ranging from small, medium to large. And I'll use either a vinyl tape measure or a digital scale. Hey guys, I hope this helps and let me know what you think. I'll go over some of the things that we need real quick. So you'll need a digital scale. Uh, you can get this on Amazon or anywhere from $15 to $25. Uh, you need some sort of small animal pet carrier. Turn on your scale. It's going to be at zero. You're going to sit this on top. And then you can zero it out, tear it out. Um, if you're going to use the lid, you'd have to put the lid in there as well and then zero it out from there. Uh, but in this demonstration for uh, all three of the snakes, we won't be doing that. So I'll just zero it out, zero it out without the uh, lid. And then you'll need, of course, you know, this, but this will be for part two, and this is for part one. So, again, I'll go ahead and get my snake out, and we'll be looking at a male phantom clown. All right. So, I think I just woke him up. So, this is the male phantom clown. You can see how the phantom kind of, it's, it kind of diminishes a lot of the, uh, a lot of the pattern, it's part of the blue-eyed leucistic complex, so you would expect that. I'll put him in there. He weighs 314 grams. And so what I have is I have this book where I record all of the snake's weights. Um, we record once a month so we can track our feeding progress and whether our snake is growing. Some of the things that I have recorded in here are the sex of the animal, which this is a male phantom clown, our ID, who we got it from, BC Balls, the date of birth, the date we acquired, and the date that we're weighing as well as the weight in grams. So this is 312 grams. So I can see that over the course of a month, our last measurement was on the 1st of March, that this snake gained roughly about 78 grams. So uh, that's something that's good. And so with that's that, I, I, I like to keep this because in the case that I don't have my computer or something happens with the computer or any other, Technology. I always like to have a manual backup. So that's that. And we got the weight. So the next thing that we'll do is we will measure the leg. So I got him out. I got my tape measure. I got it. I'm holding it by the one because I definitely don't want to start from measuring from another way. And what I will do is just put him down on the table. So one of the ways I do is I'll let him try to run away and I would just curve this down the snake. Trying to keep it in place. And you see here it's about 17 inches. And if I curl it in a little bit more, oh, he's really curling up. He's really shy. So and I try to make this as quickly as possible. So if I just would have rounded off and guessed, it's about 24 inches or two feet. So that lets me know that a snake that is roughly 300 grams is about two feet long. So if I just were to average it, I could say, okay, a snake that's 275 grams on a digital scale would be anywhere from 22 inches to about 28 inches. So that's about two feet because we're just really trying to get a good idea as to how long or how big our snake is so that we can get the appropriate size food item because that's what it's all about. You don't want to underfeed, but you don't want to overfeed as well. So um, now, so I don't stress him out anymore under the lights, I will put his hide back inside and I will stick him back inside. So guys, that's a quick way to measure a small snake. Now I'll move on to a medium sized snake so that we can cover that as well. Okay, so moving right along, we're gonna cover a female snake this time. The last one was a male. We use the same exact procedure. So what I will do is release the lid from her. This is a female pastel calico or sugar. Calico and sugar are the same. So uh, I'll go ahead and get her out. I'll show it to you guys. You see that's her right there. So again, I'll follow the same procedure. I'll turn the scale on. I'll set this on top and I'll zero it out. So now that I have it zeroed, I can put her inside and she's at 526. So here I've recorded 526. 
Again, the same thing, female pastel sugar, received from Attic Exotics, um, date of birth, date acquired, our spheric ID, and the dates and the weights. And you can see on the first, she weighed 440, and now she's gained to uh, 526 grams. Just trying to get away. And I'll get her real quick so that she can, so that I can do the other part. I mean, I tell you, one of the things that you can do with your snake is encourage them to, I guess, be snoopy and to be active. So what we do is we pull our snakes out and just play with them, hold them. Uh, a lot of times we'll let them just range free within a confined space while we're watching them. But uh, for this video, and this would be still a hatchling size, um, what I would do is I would measure her, and if I can get her to run a little bit, I can go ahead and measure it that way. Just another way you can do it. And I got this wrapped around. This is a female, and she is measuring in at about 28 inches. Let me see, I think she was 362, right? Let's make sure. I don't want to tell you guys the wrong thing and have you coming after me. Uh, let's see. At 526 grams, is roughly about 28 inches. And you can tell from the last snake that she is definitely longer. But just to get the tape measure back out, just to measure her real quick, pushing in against the body. And just barely moving this down. You guys will have these same issues at home. So I want to cover like all of the issues that you could possibly have. So I'll slide that backwards so we can get a better view. And move it this way. And I'll just work my way around with the tape measure. So you can see there, if I release some of the slack, she's right at 28 inches. And I know I said 29, but that's because I hadn't released all of the slack. So she's about 28 inches. So a snake that is anywhere from 500 grams to about 600 grams, I would say is roughly has a range of 26 inches to about 30 inches. So that gives you a good estimation as to how long she is. She's about two and a half feet long. If we convert those inches into actual feet. So because she's really being inquisitive, I might actually hold her again tonight. Um, but I will put her back in the cage and it's a day before feeding day as well. So, um, but there you go. And I'll put her back and the next snake that we'll look at guys will be one that's a little bit bigger, roughly about a thousand grams. So, all right guys, this is the last snake. <clears throat> um, we're going to start with the same exact procedure. We got our scale on. We're going to sit the animal carrier on top. We will zero it out. I'll scoot that back some so that you can see that. I'll zero that out. And now we're going to go ahead and get the snake out. And this is a female lesser bongo. She doesn't have a pied or clown trait. She's just a snake that we really wanted. And we got her. And uh, we'll see. But this is how she looks. You can see the bongo pattern at the top as the color, the color is darker there. And you can also see how the lesser affects the sides. It kind of lightens up everything. It's not to the degree of lace. But uh, it's definitely a pattern morph that actually can brighten your snake on the sides. And let's see how much she weighs. And it says 952 grams. So I'll write that in there. And same setup, guys. But she's from, she went from 864. We measured her in the middle of February to 952. So you can see that she's still gaining a lot of weight. Um, she's approaching, like, I guess, teenage years, so we would call her a sub-adult. And you can see that she is starting to slow down a little bit in her weight gain, but her appetite's still good, so that's the main thing. But I'll go ahead and set this to the side so we can go ahead and measure her. I'll turn that off since we don't need that anymore. And I'll measure her a different way. Uh, with bigger snakes, you can do a lot more because by the time they're bigger, they're a little bit more confident, hopefully. So what I'll do is I will use this to just kind of measure down the side of her. I'll measure this way. So curling it right around, I'm right at 18 inches that way. And then I will try to follow along 
right there we got 28, 29, hold on, I just had it straight. So right there at about 36 inches. So we can say that a snake that is roughly 900 to 1,000 grams, maybe 1,050, would be about three feet. And that's what a three foot snake is if she was straightened out. So guys, um, I hope that today's uh, quick demonstration of how to measure your snake, giving you two different options. I personally like to use a digital scale, but some people, they don't have a digital scale and they got a tape measure. So use what you can, and then you can, that way you have some ideas as to about how big it is or how long it is, depending on which one you have. If you got weight, then you can kind of guess the length. If you got length, you can kind of guess the weight. So hey guys, this is Jess again. And she's so happy and she's so docile. And we're trying to get her up, hopefully, if not this breeding season, but next season, we can do some cool and interesting things with her. I hardly ever show snakes, so, you know, I do, I love snakes. So, hey guys, if nothing else, let me know what you think about this video, and have a great day.